wise and ancient uh, Persian philosopher. <laughs> uh, a good speech is, is kind of like a lady's skirt. You know, it's, it's long enough to cover everything, but short enough to make it interesting. <laughs> So I sent faxes out to everywhere to kind of get some, you know, little details about what Megan's really like. And uh, they started coming back, and, uh, and they were all blank. There was nothing on them. What, what is going on here? So then I started doing... She was sick of it also. <laughs> but then after a few years, this went on, and I realized it wasn't because she went to France. It was because she travels so much that she doesn't have time to make exotic foods anymore. Now she resorts to things like pasta and spaghetti. <laughs> Let me tell you something else about Megan Alex. She puts too much salt on her spaghetti. <laughs> One time I had her spaghetti and it was great. You know, I was at her apartment and she made me some spaghetti and I liked it. The next time, there was so much salt, I, I lost my appetite. I didn't eat anything all day because there was so much salt on it. Alistair Lake is a lake, so it doesn't have any salt. But if it did have salt, Megan's spaghetti would be saltier. <laughs> so I, let me warn you, here's a tip of advice for you. Never eat Megan's spaghetti. In fact, maybe you shouldn't eat any food from Megan because she might put salt in something else. <laughs> Just eat at restaurants all the time. The next thing...